is I, Charlie! Wow, it's been a long time since we've done an I, Charlie. Yep, so we have a lot to cover tonight. We went to another Troy game with Mr. Ganey. It was their last regular season game, and they won the game. And by winning the game, they won the Sun Belt Conference. And again, it was a great Troy experience. Thank you, Mr. Ganey. Oh, and Mr. G. Air conditioning in the van on the way home? Perfect. And I had a little incident in school the other day. You mean your trip project? I bet that was a first for Mrs. McGuffey. Well, before the class did the trip project, Mrs. McGuffey said that part of our grade would be based on how we stood. So I was reciting a memory verse for my trip project, and everything was going well. And then I realized that my foot was in my hand. <laughs> your foot was in your hand? What do you mean that your foot was in your hand? I don't really know how it happened. I mean, I was just reciting my verse and I realized that I was standing on one foot and the other was in my hand. What did you do? Well, I did the only thing I could do. I put my foot down and pretended that it had never happened. Did Mrs. McGuffey notice? I'm pretty sure that she did. As I put my foot down, I think I saw a small chuckle. Ooh, did she give you that look that makes you feel stupid? I don't know. I really didn't need a look. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have had the exams and the end of year parties. Yeah, the elf party was great. Who knew that Abby could chug a root beer like that? That was impressive. <laughs> yeah, and we had the PTF Christmas program. Rachel and Zach did a great job talking about what the school means to them. All the classes did a great job. The upper school's 12 days of Christmas in Latin rocked. And there we come to my instant. After the show, we were cleaning things up, and Mr. Ganey asked me to take his podium back to the classroom. I was carrying it out of the sanctuary and picked it up high as I passed the Marvin so that I wouldn't hit anyone. Unfortunately, a brief distraction caused by one of the rhetoric school ladies <laughs> caused me to bring it down before I had intended. And I am dreadfully sorry to say that I may perhaps have hit Mrs. Sheridan in the back of the head with the podium. <laughs> you hit Mrs. Sheridan? Ha ha ha! Yeah, she turned around and gave me a look like I was a demented hoodlum. I've seen that look. I apologize profusely as the Marvins, and you know there are a bunch of them, laughed hysterically. I didn't think that it was that funny. Is she okay? I think so. And if there is a mark, it is on the back of her head, so it will be hidden by her hair. <sighs> and on other news, we do have some birthdays to talk about. Emily from my class just had a birthday, and MK has one coming up. So if you see Emily or MK, wish them a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you too. Happy birthday, dear MK and Emily. Happy birthday to you, too. I went to Emily's party, but rather shockingly, I have not received an invitation to MK's. Ooh, Charlie, that has got to hurt. Yeah, I don't know if my fragile ego can take it. Fragile ego? <laughs> Somehow, Charlie, I think that you'll get over it. Yeah, probably. Well, let's move on to our last segment. Yeah, we've been planning to add a musical segment to the show. And since one of our viewers even suggested it, we believe that the time is right. Welcome to the Scottish Folk Song Sing-Along! <laughs> now, we don't claim to be professional singers, but we like to think that our rendition approaches the quality you might find if a group of drunken Scots were singing in a pub. Tonight, we'll be singing one of our favorites, Donald Wears Your Trousers. You all know the words, so feel free to sing along. I come down, down from, from the Isle of Skye, I'm not too big, and I'm awfully shy. I know the last he shout as I walk by. Donald wears your trousers, let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low, through the streets and the kilt I'll go. All the last he shout, hello, Donald wears your trousers. I went to a fancy ball and it was slippery in the hall. I was feared that I may fall because I may had on trousers. Let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low, through the streets and the kilt I'll go. All the last he shout, hello, Donald wears your trousers. 
I went down to London town to have some fun on the underground. All the ladies turned their heads around saying, Donald, Donald where's your shoes? Let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low. Through, through the streets in my hilt I'll go. All the lassies shout, hello! Donald, where's your shoes? The lassies love me, everyone, but they must catch me if they can. You cannot put the briefs on a highland man saying, Donald, Donald where's your shoes? Well, that's all for tonight, folks. Signing off for... Ah, Charlie! <laughs> that was hilarious. What was that? Why'd you go...